Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. We've got um, another one of those wines that I bought for real cheap at Gabriel's. Um, they, they, te they seem to have this ad actually, maybe not every week, but frequently enough. Um, and this was one of those wines that they keep, that they keep adding to it, but... Um, the, the time I bought the, this wine, it was only three wines that they were offering, but now they've, they've expanded that a little bit. But let's go right into it. Uh, we've, had, we've had something else from this label, um, but this is the Huala 2008 Malbec from uh, Argentina. This is uh, paid $3.99 at Gabriel's. Uh, they say this regularly retails uh, somewhere between $16 and $20. Uh, I'd have to look at the picture. Um, the company that um, uh, produces this one is the uh, Valley Formosa um, company, and they produce quite a few wines. Let's do a little rinse of the glass. Let's see, Huala Noble. All right, but uh, anyway, so let's see what it says in the back. Uh, using only the best grapes from special plots within our vineyards. Noble is a limited production wine that combines the characteristics of our wines with traditional oak blending, 30% aged for five months, six months, in French oak barrels. Valle de Famatina. Assuming that it's the valley that they uh, got the grapes from. Anyway, Malbec. So uh, let's check it out. It's kind of interesting. Getting some bright red fruit off of this. Feels like I can smell a little bit of wood on it. Kind of like, you know, bushes type of stuff. So kind of like being out in the countryside or in a field. Not much else. All right, we'll see how it tastes. It feels thick. I don't want to use the word jammy because that connotes, connotates, I'm sorry, whatever, denotes. Makes you think of like really uh, like sweeter wine or lots of sugar in it. And it's not. It's dry. Um, not tons of tannins on it, but um, moderate on the tannins. It's dry. I, I tend to feel like I'm eating a bunch of wood. Um, and I get kind of a, a plum, maybe even raspberry. No, more of a plum thing. Get that, a little bit of spice to it. It's a decent wine. Um, it, it makes you wonder, I, I always wonder about this type of stuff. I don't know if this was a, 
a uh, a thing to get people into the store to spend more money. So that so it's a, what they call a loss leader um, that Walmart's famous for doing. <clears throat> Or they really didn't pay a whole heck of a lot of money for this wine, and their the regular price of sixteen to twenty dollars is just kind of a really inflated price. I mean, I think it's worth more than four dollars a bottle. Don't get me wrong; I think it's closer to a ten dollar bottle of wine. I don't know; I can't see it really being a, normally a sixteen to twenty dollar bottle of wine. It's okay. Uh, I'd give it, you know, an eighty four. Yeah, yeah, eighty four. Um, I mean, I'd say it's a good buy for four bucks. It's an excellent buy for four bucks. Um, it's not going to be, it's not some, something that's going to be spectacular, but in the right setting, everyone's having a good time. It's a decent wine. 85 is a good score. I, yeah, I'd give it 85, then 84. 85 is a good score. I mean, it's, it's a decent wine. There's nothing bad about it, but I don't get anything else really out of it. Um, nothing wows me on it. You know what? Not everybody can be a superstar. Some wines are just, you know, hey, they're just, it's good just to drink. It's, it's an everyday type of wine. It's not, you know, it's not something highly special, at least in my eyes. Maybe you think it's great, uh, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong because uh, I might be wrong about the wine. It may be the best wine ever. But you know, maybe a really, really good wine. I'm just not feeling it today. But um, 85 is, is okay. Like I said, it's nothing, I don't think it's anything that, that's, uh, spectacular on it, but uh, if you find it out there and you can get it really cheap, heck yeah, buy it. You know, like I said, it's a good, it'd be a good like every day just kind of drinking wine. You know, you want, you want to buy a few bottles to have around the house, uh, to have with, you know, anything that's going to pair well with a Malbec, uh, you know, whether it's going to be steaks or sausage or uh, you can even have it with pizza, burgers, um, stuff like that. I wouldn't necessarily pair it with pasta, but you know, that kind of stuff. Not bad. If you can find it, buy it. Um, I don't have much else about this. This is one of those things where you can't really find out too much about the actual producer. I remember the last time it was like I spent forever trying to find something and I couldn't find anything. Um, other than people, other than Google thinking I'm saying hula. That's why the other one said hula, not hula, huala, not hula. I don't know what I'm going to name this, this episode. I already used that punchline. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Uh, as always, stop by. Leave some comments. If you had this wine, uh, do you, is, are you paying more than three ninety nine for it? Um, do you think it's really good? Do you hate it? Do you, are you mad about it? You know, whatever. Um, click the links above for uh, friending me up. Hit the donate. Uh, hit the PayPal donation thing. Send, send, send a couple ducats to buy some more wine. And uh, we'll see everyone again next time.